got my hours of working and it's just not always all the time. It's like pick your base level shit that you can do which doesn't require a lot of thought power and then when you need it you can like have those moments of well a good productivity anyway. You know what? I woke up this morning and I was like, why is my neck sore? So Tyson's had like a screwed up neck all week. I'm just hoping so like, just at some stage, like it just... There's like a big crack, yep. and then just go. Yeah. And get, eat some concrete. Well, yeah, generally after a couple of days, it tends to vibe in on me. Like last time you were sore. No, it does. I'm not even joking. It doesn't make any sense. I know, but it's always it always happens. We saw each other for like... Is that me? Nah, but it's like I know that you've got pain, and so then you just like push the pain onto me. It's like your way of getting rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> How was I sending you stressful shit? I didn't even talk. Yeah, what saying what? That mm. you, we didn't talk yesterday. Yeah, yeah, no, how was she yeah, It's was telling me I was in a mood. What are you doing? I don't hate you today. <laughs> I've got an interview in ten minutes. Quick. Do you want um you could do an interview? Yes, I'm fine. Go do your shit. Get in your room. <laughs> I was not good yesterday. Yeah, we were struggling yesterday. Yeah, I was struggling. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, I noticed you were being annoying as hell when we were trying to do work. <laughs> a lot of stomping and door slamming. Yeah, it's just like, and just poking your head around like, oh, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> work. What are the three hardest things about being a business owner? <laughs> responsible for every other person in the organization. Their financial, physical, mental, emotional, health and life, you've now become responsible for. So that's two. Three, finding the time to do anything else but your business. I know a lot of other people struggle with the fact that you always have to be on if you're in business. and. Yeah, I know that's probably the top three. Oh, it's a video. Hey, guys, hey, Peter. I hope you really like this video. <laughs> I'm going to take credit for it, uh, but enjoy. Happy birthday, Peter. Just wanted to say you're an amazing human being, both within the company and this outside of the company. Yes. No, it's nice, though. Nobody's done anything like that before. <laughs> That was nice. She's like, <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> All right, what do you want for me? Um, what would be your advice to dietitians who have clients who ask about how fast or slow that they should eat? I generally eat fast, but no, I mean, look, there's value in changing the pace of your eating. Um, if you're someone that is not overly hungry, then maybe eating um, eating faster is a good thing because then you're less inclined to become fuller. Um, sorry, I tend to encourage my clients to have quite low appetite to try and increase the speed of eating so we can get more in before they feel full. Um, so there's a counter for you. If you're someone that struggles to feel full or sated after a meal, then slowing down can be really handy because as everyone talks about, it takes 20 minutes to register. Um, well, it, it does to a point, but it's more the home, hormonal flow on effect of eating slowly, which kind of kicks in that feeling of being full a little bit um, earlier than if you just smash it. So yeah, I think there's benefits to slowing down eating. There's also benefits to increasing the speed of eating, but it's totally, yeah, it's totally individual thing. Do you need to change the pace of eating? Not unless you really have a goal in mind and that goal um, needs to align with whatever strategies you and the dietitian are putting in place. Yeah, good job, all right. Oh god. Um, I do have the longest tongue known to man, so like that should make a really good image. <laughs> I can touch my nose with my tongue. You wanna Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> can you do it? Come on, Lisa. No, I cannot do that. I have a normal size. <laughs> Put some on your nose and lick it off. I oh. encourage it. <laughs>
a really good idea. Tyson's not here. <laughs> Bit high. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she cut it. She almost cut it. Oh fuck. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh.